51-year-old Mitchell Dale Stelling, known by the name Dale, went to the Mesa Verde National Park in Colorado on June 9, 2013, with his wife, Denian, and his parents. He said he was going for a hike to the Spruce Tree House ruin and left at 4.30 p.m. The trail is less than a quarter of a mile long and connects to the Petroglyph Point Trail, a two-and-a-half-mile loop with cliff exposure that takes off from the Spruce Tree Trail. Witnesses saw him on that trail and even spoke to him. However, his family never saw him again. This is his story. The day started normally for Dale, who decided to leave their home in Goliad, Texas in a camper trailer and drove west, as Dale had always wanted to see Colorado. He was an outdoorsman and camper, and he knew exactly how to spend the day with a trip to Mesa Verde National Park. Originally, the Stellings only planned to drive out to the lookout point and take in the scene from a distance since the trail was rugged, and since Denian was overweight and Dale's parents were elderly, it would have not been possible for them to easily hike it. But being the rugged outdoorsman, Dale Stelling had to get a little closer. The hike, at most, should have been only an hour. When his family noticed he was gone for too long, they immediately called the police. The park rangers initially assumed he had gotten off track, Southwest the park public information officer, named Betty Lurens, told his wife that the park never had a person go missing for more than a couple of hours, and wanted his wife and family to wait a couple of hours. Two hours had passed, and he still did not come back. A two-week search ensued, and at its peak it included 60 searchers, two dog teams, helicopter surveillance, and rope teams that repelled off cliffs in the Chapin Mesa area. In the first couple of days, AK-9 unit had some signs of potentially finding Dale, but to no avail. When Dale disappeared the only thing he had with him was his cell phone, which showed that he attempted to access his voicemails at 7 p.m. that night. However aside from that there was no reception to his phone. The last thing Dale was wearing a khaki Mesa Verde Museum Association baseball cap, brown t-shirt, tan slash khaki shorts, calf height white socks and red wing Oxford walking boots, he also carried his wallet and some cigarettes in his pockets. Jesse Farias, chief ranger for Mesa Verde National Park, said the area has been heavily searched, but with no results, in November we had a dog team come in and search that area again for human remains, but they did not pick up any hits. When we have search and rescue exercises, we go there and continue to look but have not found him. The authority said no foul play was suspected. My gut feeling is that he is out there somewhere and never left the park. There is no reason to think otherwise, there have been no sightings. The case is still open. Not one physical clue has been found and he is presumed to have died in the wilderness. Over the course of 2014, Denian returned to the park three times, expecting answers, expecting to find her husband, expecting some sort of closure, but each time she returned, nothing changed. She believes her husband went off the trail because of confusing signs in the park. Because she was unable to walk the trail, she fed her interest by the account of a family who'd last seen her husband on the trail point seven years past before his family got any sort of update on Dale. Unfortunately, on September 17, 2020, the worst was confirmed. Park law enforcement rangers, with assistance from ISB and Montezuma County Coroner's Office found Dale's remains at the park. To this day law enforcement don't know the exact cause of death. The body was described as, quite the distance away, from the initial site, 4.2 miles away to be exact. The area was searched originally when Dale went missing all the way in 2013. Montezuma County Coroner George Deaver said he is 99% sure the remains are that of Mitchell Dale Stelling because of items found at the scene, a driver's license, credit cards, and a social security card that had Stelling's information on it. At the time of the discovery, it was unclear whether a DNA test was possible. To take DNA from a bone sample, the bone must have retained some moisture. Many of the bones found at the scene were bleached, but it's possible there is still some moisture in them. If a DNA test is possible, Deaver said it would take about a year to get results back. Dave's body was decomposed to the point where it couldn't be tested. 
His remains were found at the bottom of the canyon and were found by a hiker initially, with the working theory being he fell and potentially got stuck. However crucial questions remain after his death, the remains were found in an area previously searched. The search was extensive over two weeks which included 60 searchers, two dog teams, helicopter surveillance, and rope teams that repelled off cliffs. The Mesa Verde Park is relatively small, though rugged and hot. Was Dale just missed or did he enter the area where his remains were found after they were searched? How did Dale get so badly lost on the Spruce Treehouse hike? How did he end up 4.2 miles from where he was last seen without water and supplies? What is the true cause of Dale's death? The only part that was left of him are bones that a hiker found. And since a hiker found them, how come nobody else accidentally stumbled across them for seven whole years? The death of Mitchell Dale Stelling is an absolute tragedy. Learning your family member is missing when you were just with them is an experience I hope nobody else has to go through. May his family heal from this tragedy. More videos about missing person cases, cold cases, and true crime cases are on the way. Be sure to stay safe and we'll see you next time.